I'm at a really cool spot here, just on the north side of Hamilton, near the power plant. I'm on the bike trail. As you can tell, a train's coming. There's the old power plant right there. Here's the bike trail. Now, the bikes, the, the uh, riders are supposed to get off their bike and walk it through this tunnel because this tunnel is also a driveway. There's a house way back there, see it? They got a big farm here and their driveway hooks onto the bike trail right here and goes out to the main road. So the cyclists are supposed to get off their bike and walk it through this tunnel. And they're supposed to stay to the left-hand side of this yellow line. See the yellow line right there? They're supposed to stay on the left-hand side. The right-hand side is for cars, for that driveway, for that one house. That's really interesting. I know another spot like that up in Troy, Ohio, where the bike trail is shared by a house. They use about a half a mile of it. And we got the train coming right now. It's a northbound coming right here to your left. This is an interesting spot. They actually shot a movie here a few years ago. I forget the actor's name. They generate power back there with that little dam. But they shot a movie here a few years ago. Here comes the train, I hear it. There are no railroad sidings for that power plant. There you go. I know I get some questions on that. Nice locomotives on that train. They're on the other track, unfortunately. Always works that way. Right. A caboose. All right. Caboose. Wow, was that cool or what? The train had a caboose on it. That was really cool. Got lucky. That's the second time I caught that caboose up here. They started using that caboose around Thanksgiving. And um, it, it was housed up there at New River Junction. And they started using that for safety so the um, conductor doesn't have to ride in the end of the, the train when they're doing a long reverse move. And I've caught that thing a couple times now. That was really cool. Man, I got lucky for that. Let's walk through here and have a look. So they stayed on the left side where they're supposed to. So that was good. I have never seen a bike come through here where they dismounted and walked it through here on this side where you're supposed to be. Every bike I've ever seen on this trail is just blown right on through here and hope the car didn't come through. Well, there you go. Wow, that was really cool. <laughs> oh. Out. 240 axles on that train just went by and that was my radio one of my little Baofeng UV6Rs I love those cheap little radios they do what I want them to do and if you break them no big deal just buy another one They're only 30 bucks brand new thanks for watching
Okay, check this out. The train that had the 148 axles, um, that train went off on the Indy sub. So I'm not even gonna see that train. The train that I saw at the caboose had 100 axles. And we got another train right here. We got a CSX train just came up here and stopped. So they're waiting on something. I'm not sure what all is going on. We might have some more action here. All right, check this out. There's a train right there that was headed southbound on the line. And now it's reversing. Apparently they're doing some switching up here at the uh, New River Junction the yard up there. So they came up almost to the bike trail and then reversed. Well, the train with the caboose had 100 axles on it. The train that I heard with 148 axles that was a CSX train going off on the Indy sub about a mile south of here. It's just a coincidence that that in um, that the defect detector went off right after the trans caboose went by. That was just a coincidence. So we're not going to see that train. So there you go. We're not going to get to see either train. They're backing up. Look at that. You never know what's going on at the railroad. All right, check this out. I'm at another spot here. Um, this is near where the Norfolk Southern and CSX tracks diverge. Got a train coming right back here behind me. Check it out, here we go. CSX this time. This is a long one, over 400 axles. And you can see that they're diverging from track one to track two. And then they're using the directional running to go from CSX on the Norfolk Southern, headed south and the Queensgate Yard. See right here? What about DPU? Anybody want to guess? What do you think? That's cool how they changed from one track to the other right there.
DPU. I see you. Let's watch the DPU go from track one to track two. All right, there you go. That was pretty cool. Changing over from one track to the other. That's always pretty cool, especially when you get to see a DPU doing that. So thanks for watching everyone. That was a good one. That train was long. But wait, there's more Corsos is. Got another train coming, here we go. Fork Southern on the CSX.
Well, there you go. That was a good one. Another Norfolk Southern train headed towards Indiana. They're going to go up on the Newcastle sub. And there's three tracks right here, but this track is cut off. See that? Cut off from both ends. I remember when they used to set boxcars off here. They used to set boxcars off uh, for this paper mill that's now abandoned. I think they shipped rolls of paper in them. So yeah, that's some pretty old track right there. I don't know if I can find any dates on it though. Uh, huh. I would guess it's 1920s rail though. Not very big, 100 pound rail, something like that. I don't see any markings on it. I thought I could find something. Let's have a look here. Well, okay. Huh. Thought I'd find something that said Carnegie, 100 pound per yard, 1922. That's what I was looking for. Don't see it. See, there, it's been a long time since that was in use. Can't even tell what that says on the tie plate. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. This track will never see a train on it again. The prize is still here, even. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course, always is. Got another train coming.
There you go. How was that for a gondola train? That's all that train was, a whole train, nothing but gondolas, four locomotives and who knows how many gons. So all the gondolas are gone. They're totally out of the yard. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Had a really great day up here in Ohio, the southern part of Ohio, on an unusually warm day in January. Can't believe how warm it got today. Got to take my coat off for once. If you have time, watch another video because every view really helps my channel. Every view really helps, and I got the slideshow in the pets. So we'll see you later. Thanks for watching my video, everyone. Really appreciate your support. It was kind of a slow day today on the railroad, but usually the weekends down here are a little bit slower. Um, if you have time, watch another one of my videos because every view really helps my channel. And the shorts have really been helping too. Uh, people love those shorts I've been noticing. Some of my subscribers don't like the shorts at all, but then I got a lot of people who really do like them. I have a lot of people watching the shorts that don't watch my long videos. So I'm gonna make a video of nothing but shorts. I'm gonna put all my shorts together and make an hour long video. I'm gonna have that one out soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. We got the slideshow coming up and Norfi and Chessie. So we'll see you later. Somewhere out here on the bike trail, Hamilton, Ohio. Caboose! All right! Caboose!